Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an entirely custom WooCommerce checkout page using Breakdance. Now, right now, you're looking at the default Breakdance WooCommerce checkout page. It already looks great. It's two columns. It's designed to convert. But if you wanted to customize this at all, you could do so. So let's go into Breakdance. Uh, so let's go to the WordPress admin. We go to Breakdance, open checkout, and then we're going to click edit in Breakdance. And here we are inside of Breakdance. Let's go ahead and add a checkout page element to our page. And now we have the checkout page. It looks just like it does by default. And if we want to customize it, we can. We have options for customizing the layout. We can make it a single column layout. We could disable the coupon code section. We could override the global styles for the coupon code section. We could customize the billing details section. We could customize the shipping address section, the additional info. We customize the your order table, the totals, the payment section. We customize the typography of the headings or anything else. We could adjust spacing. I would generally recommend using the global settings. You get to those with the three dot menu and then global settings to get your elements on brand. And only once you want to make customizations beyond what you can do in the global settings, do you want to customize the elements themselves. For example, I, let's say I want to customize all of the primary buttons on my site. And instead of using blue, I want to use my brand color, which is purple. Well, I would just go to global settings, WooCommerce colors and set brand to purple. This is going to affect not only my checkout page, but it's going to affect my cart page my, you know, my mini cart widget, it's going to affect every other breakdance element. So the global settings are the best way to get a consistent look across your entire site. And then when you want to make element specific customizations, for example, disabling the coupon code form on the checkout page, only then do you edit the element settings. But uh, I like this checkout page as it is, so I'm not going to make any customizations here. This is already designed to convert. If you want to, you have tons of options, but honestly, I don't recommend touching them. This is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you very much for watching.